there, it's Beth, and I'm up on the Crafty Maven for In Your Pocket Tuesday. And I always take from the inspiration pieces, majority of the time, the color. And because I'm doing an In Your Pocket video, I definitely went with color for this one. Now, I have to admit, I love those frames and that top part of the inspiration piece. And I definitely think I want to go ahead and create something with those as well. But for now, back to the layout. So here I have a piece of transparency and you can see there, I left this part in the video because I wanted you to see the reason why I decided to take it out. Um, I love this stencil that I'm using and I figured the Dilutions paint was perfect. But when I smudged it on through my dauber, it just did not, it did not go right. It was all, it just looked a hot mess to me. So then I was got some regular golden gel medium and added the paint to that and mixed it up really, really good so that the color stayed the same. And the reason why I got gel medium was again for the color, because if I had used a, um, modeling paste the white would have made the blue lighter obviously because it's being mixed with white and the reason why i have this on a piece of paper was just so that you could see that i had a transparency there no other reason otherwise i would have done it um just on that glass mat because it would have cleaned up fine from the glass mat so then i'm going to pick this up with some tweezers so that i don't smudge anything and i'm going to set that aside and it's going to dry and don't worry, I definitely do something with the leftover modeling paste. I don't, uh, I don't throw all of that away. That would be a waste. Now, earlier in the day, I had picked out some Project Life cards and I have so many. I really, really, really need to either give some away or really start using them. But that's another story. And what I wanted to document with this In Your Pocket Tuesday was photos of the sky that I have taken just for the month of November. So I have four photos total in the month of November. Sometimes I take more, but I always end up having a photo of the sky each month. And it's just something that I document. I look at the sky, I see how beautiful it is, and I always try and capture to the best of my ability. That doesn't always happen. Um, like you can see the bottom photo when I added the cut file from Wilna Furstenberg. I mean, excuse me, can't talk there for a second, but that cut file is absolutely stunning. And what I did was the frame part of that cut file, I ended up, uh, framing the sun. I was trying to capture the sun in real life. The sun literally looked like a great big beautiful ball of fire just setting into the sky and it was gorgeous now do not ask me why i did this this way because i have no idea but i definitely made it harder for myself to trim that off of that piece of paper and what i did was i had used uh six by six twelve um uh, uh I don't know what is wrong with me this evening is <laughs> probably because it's late, but the moonstruck paper, the six by six paper pad, I used to mount the four by six. Well, they're not four by six photos, obviously, because I cut them down, but I used that to mount the photos onto there. And then the leftover pieces, I used the opposite piece of paper. So the bottom has the butterflies and uh, I put that in the top left three by four pocket and then the top right four by six pocket has that teal kind of color and so that I put that on the bottom left. I hope that makes sense but I didn't waste the paper. I cannot waste this paper. I'm in love with the Moonstruck collection completely. Had to have it. So next step for me was digging through the ephemera and seeing what I had and what I could use on this layout. I love the bringing in the gold with that gold butterfly. And I love having the butterflies on that diagonal because you can see my Project Life card there has a yellow butterfly. 
and then I have this light pink butterfly that I'm going to use and I do fiddle with this card quite a bit a lot I don't know what was wrong with me but I couldn't get my life together and then I have the um, compass slash star looking thing there on the top left pocket and I think that's all I'm going to end up using for my embellishments I'm going to use these feathers and I stapled them together thinking oh then they would be stuck together but then I didn't like the way the staple was making the feathers pop up off the page so I had to fiddle with that and get the staple out and then I end up um, what did I do I 3d tape on the butterfly for those feathers so now I'm just sticking everything down. I went and grabbed my puffy stickers. I did not use anything else. And that puffy sticker says beautiful life. And I thought it went perfect there. And I'm gonna stick this little compass thing down here. And I think that's all I do to that card. I don't do anything else. I had some thoughts of like stamping on the photos and whatnot, but that just, it didn't work out for me I didn't I didn't feel like digging around looking for stamps and I didn't know what I wanted to stamp and I didn't want to take away from the sky photos so there was no stamping going on on this layout um, so there there you go you can see me fiddling with these feathers and they ended up frustrating me to no end for no reason because I was just making my life harder for myself this evening so you can see there, um, I stick those down, I grab some foam tape, and then the last bit that I do with this layout literally is, um, it's the journaling, and that's it. This layout is really, really done. I don't do anything else to it um, other than that. So the journaling here is, is just talking about how I'm constantly taking photos of the sky, uh, how I enjoy taking photos of the sky and how I love looking up and seeing the magnificent creations that the Lord has made for us. And that's pretty much it for my journaling. That's it. Nothing else. I really appreciate you watching this video for In Your Pocket Tuesday for the Crafty Maven. As you know, we have inspiration every single day on the channel, so make sure you subscribe. And if you would like to see more of me, please click the link below and that'll take you over to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.